It's nail expo time. I've got my cute little cool nails club sweatshirt on. So I am ready for the nail expo. So I'm super excited to check out some new products, see what's out there, see what um, brands are here. Maybe get a little bit of classes, maybe get a little demo on my nails. Cause that's always fun. I did get here a little bit early. It's about nine o'clock. The expo starts at 10 and I got here a little bit early because in the past, the parking here has been kind of a pain so i ended up getting here early and there were quite a few spots not like a ton of spots but there were enough spots that i was able to get a spot pretty quickly and so i'm just gonna go inside there's a little bit of a, uh, like a little restaurant in the hotel so i'm just gonna have breakfast because i thought i'd just get here and have breakfast because why not instead of having to just deal with the whole parking situation in a little bit and i've already like a lot of the spots were open next to me and they're already pretty much full there's like one spot on this side so parking is like literally filling up and i can't get until 10. they do have vip tickets so some people can start shopping at nine i can't start shopping until 10. and so that's totally fine i'll just have some breakfast because i am a breakfast girl love my breakfast so i'm just gonna go in chill hang out eat some breakfast, see what's going on, and then I can go in and start shopping at 10 o'clock. And now it is like starting to rain, which is great. So I pretty much have to go all the way around over there. So hopefully it doesn't, you know, hopefully my hair and everything looks okay <laughs> after I have to walk through this rain, but I'm super excited. So let's get inside. into the boom. Today oh. we're gonna do a chrome nail. First I need you to apply a no wipe top coat in a very very smooth layer and only cure 20 seconds. Like ooh yeah. Okay let's clean her off. Okay we're gonna go. It was so fun getting a demo nail done from Hillary. If you don't follow Hillary you need to she is amazing and shares so many tips and tricks on her social media and she was working at the cocoas booth so i knew how to get a nail from her and she did a nail thoughts base nail on me using the nail thoughts in the milky white and it is so fun and she used the boba gel mixed it with some gold chrome and did this really cute little boba gel design which is like a 3d gel and so that was really fun and i always love getting to see hillary whenever i can thin layer then i get a sandy bun to smooth that and your new girl then just the nib bit your cuticles are maintained really nice and then uh 90 percent or higher alcohol and then we laid down a slip layer and a little build you have a good apex you don't need a ton of build and now because it's a tinted base this is just a little tip sometimes like you get it perfectly shaped and you see like a tiny shadow because you're trying to even out color too. I'll do a super thin layer of it over. We'll see if you need it. And then we'll do some boba, right? Okay. That's still pretty shiny. 
Yeah, it goes really well. I do recommend having tweezers on hand so it goes down easier for you, but we're gonna use my finger. I just like when it's super dainty. So I like start in the center and work my way out with a little bit of pressure. Okay, I feel like that's dainty. Okay. Let's do... Alright, there you go. What if we made this one even tinier? Like a second little dainty dainty? Okay. Is that okay? Let's do one more. So much easier. Yep. Oh, does that work really good with the silicone? Okay, I'm gonna try it. That's a great tip. Oh, okay. Okay. Probably a silicone tool over the silicone mat. Color, like I needed a switch up and it was really fun. <laughs> During the promotion of the table right here. Best product in town. So I pretty much spent the day walking around to different booths, checking them out, stocking up on what I needed. I definitely had created a list before I went so that I knew what my essentials were. And then of course I did get a couple things that were not on the list to try out. So that's fun. And this was one brand that was new here, PLA. So they had a really pretty display of all of the colors and all of their gel polishes, match the regular polishes. That was fun. We had famous names, Light Elegance, Luminary, Magpie, the Shamox Dust Collectors, Accents, Magic Gel, lots of different brands to check out and some new ones. We had um, the mobile manicurist, Tracy. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen her here before, so that was really awesome. And it was just a really great time getting to check out all the products.
presentation. And you'll see as I brush over it that you'll see those acrylic, acrylic beads kind of reveal themselves. But as it self-levels, the acrylic beads... I did stop at the Magic Gel booth and Darcy was there demoing some of the products and she is just an amazing educator. I feel like I could listen to her talk like all day long. And so that was really awesome. I did pick up a couple of the Magic Gel products to try. Like the, right, exactly. It's got more of a self-leveling gel quality. That's correct. Yeah, so it's a really nice application. And then if you wanted to build structure, you can just go in with a little more product and just lay it in there and let it self-level and it'll smooth itself out without running it doesn't flood the side walls or you know, it's it's it is a slower self-leveling because of the acrylic beads yeah. no, we have a couple really nice um, and you can get really strong structure built in there with less product apply my structure go to the next nail same thing i can usually do three to four without really having to do any flash curing or anything like that Usually I'll flash cure before, do the thumb, and then do a full oh, cure. Okay. But That's kind of cool. You can see it just self levels nicely. And the nice thing is it, unless you're... days later and we are back at home i'm back in my office please excuse the mess i am still in the process of organizing and decorating and my desk back there is like a total disaster so please excuse the mess this is just me sitting down being real with you guys i'm gonna show you guys what i picked up at the expo like a really quick little haul and I just had a really great time. Our expo here in Oregon is pretty small compared to like some of the really large ones, but I, I love it. I'm grateful for it. I don't have to travel for it. It's That's just amazing in itself. And this year we had quite a few, like three or four companies that have never been there before. So that was kind of nice to see, check it out, um, learn more about those companies. And now, you know, we have Cocoas there, which is amazing. I definitely circled back around the Cocoas booth like three or four times just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I um, always ended up grabbing a couple more things. It is a goal of mine. I think I'm gonna make it a goal of mine for next year to visit some of the other expos like the nationwide expos like there's one in orlando there's one in chicago sorry if you can hear my dog tiptoeing around on the floor but um there's one in orlando chicago anaheim there's just like some other ones around the area or around the country that are like really really big ones and i think that that would be so fun to visit and get even more of like a variety of different brands and companies. So there was like a little drawing that you're entered in to win um, if you attend the expo. And I did end up winning something, which is awesome. So I won this box from Muse and it has all of this really fun stuff in there. And these bottles are gorgeous. Some base gel, we have an anti-lifting base gel. That's interesting. Super curious about that. Top coat, poly gel. We have some cuticle oil. We have, this looks like a little sample of some poly gel. Like look how cute this little tube is. That's really cute. So that's awesome. Thank you so much to Muse. I did end up picking up some stuff from Magic Gel in my clips. You saw Darcy demoing the Acro Gel and I thought that was so interesting because it's like a poly gel, slap, there's multiple names for it, like poly gel slash Acro Gel, but it wasn't like thick like a paste, like it went on like a hard gel. So you could still use it and it self-leveled kind of like a hard gel. 
but it's a, an aqua gel. So I thought that was so interesting and the colors were gorgeous. So I got romantic warm aqua gel and I also got a couple other ones. Some of the vendors there didn't have stuff available at the booth, but they would place an online order for you and then they would just ship it to your place for free. So I got some colors from Magic Gel. Those are coming in the mail. I got another one of their Acro Gels. That's coming. We have some of their new rubber base, their nail guard builders, which is fun. We have a little free, one of the awesome things about going to these is like, a lot of times you'll get little samples and little kind of free little goodies along the way, which is great. And plus, one of the huge benefits of going is usually each booth has some sort of discount, like 20% off or something like that. So this is a little sample from Magic Gel of their Barbie pink color. And it looks really pretty, so that's fun. Always can use more Barbie pinks. This brand, PLA, was a new brand for this expo, the Oregon Expo. So I got a couple of their gel polishes and then just a regular gel polish, or just a regular polish for like my toes, because I'm always, I don't know why I, I do not like blue nails on myself, but on my toes, I do like blue. So I picked up that, that's really pretty. I got my favorite lotion, which is the Daddy Lotion from Famous Names, and it comes in this new squeezy packaging, which is awesome. I did pick up one of the bottles. This is what I use like at my station. I was super excited to see the new like squeezy tube packaging. That would make it so much easier to have like on the go. And I have some friends, clients that wanted me to get them some lotion. So I was like, I will get the little squeezy tube once because that's great. Also from Muse, again, I got two packs of files. These are 100, 180 files. I do love files that are this shape, like this rounded top because it makes it really nice to just to go around the cuticle area and it's kind of already rounded. So that's nice. And then from Cocoa Whist, Again, I circled back around the Cocoa's booth like three or four times, but look how cute this bag is. It's like a tortoise shell bag. I don't know if you can see it, maybe with the light shining through it, you can see it. But isn't that fun? I can always use a tortoise shell bag, so I'm gonna keep this for sure. I also got the Nail Thoughts tortoise shell kit, and it comes in a little tortoise shell like brush type bag, which is so cute. I cannot wait to use this. I'm for sure gonna use this. I mostly wanted this because of the bag. Not really, I mean, the stuff inside is great and I'm super excited, but I was like, oh my gosh, this little bag is adorable. But we have um, everything that you need basically to create a tortoise shell nail. So we have the tortoise shell gel polish color. We have the Cocoa Whist Black is Black, Midnight Chocolate, and Brown Glass Gels. So this will be really nice to create like the perfect tortoise shell look. And there's like a little QR code so that you can watch the tortoise shell tutorial. So you can make like the perfect tortoise shell. And then it also comes with the yellow Smush Nail Thoughts brush. And I was gonna get the Nail Thoughts brushes anyways, so I just picked up the other two by themselves since the tortoise shell kit came with the yellow one. So I did get the application and the detail brush also from Nail Thoughts, a little pink and a coral brush. So that's fun. I did get some of the like standard Cocoaist brushes. I got the round and I also got the mini round because I really, really love the round brush. I use it for like my hard gels or like my potted, you know, potted builder gels. I use the round brush a lot and I love it. So I wanted to get another one of those. And then the mini round brush is cute also. And I think you can use these also for like gel color application. And I mean, they're great, so. Non-wipe accessory bond in black and white. And these are awesome because you can chrome them. And I've seen some really cool pictures of some people like making these amazing designs with these. So I picked those up. Those are brand new, like newly released. Um, I got one of the Cocoist Mega Stick bases in a pot. I did get the marker line 
no wipe color gels in black and white and then also silver and gold these looked really cool because they kind of give almost like a little bit of like an not embossed but like a slightly raised tiny bit of 3d look and they're no wipe so you don't have to top coat over them i got their hazy gel white and clear which is pretty much blooming gel but they have a clear version and a white version i got three of the satin magnets which are like magnetic cat eye gels that looked really gorgeous i did get the matte no wipe top gel i love 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 their ultra glossy non-wipe top coat if you watched my like my last all-time favorites video it's like i posted it like two videos ago you saw that like the coke Whist ultra glossy non-wipe is like my number one favorite top coat and so i did want to try the matte just to see how it is two nail thoughts clear builder bases and i got their bubbly base which is like a pinkish color with a little bit of sparkle in there i don't know you probably won't be able to see the sparkle but it's just a really fine shimmer in there and i got one nail thoughts color which is called dressed up for what which is a bright pink glitter color gel and so that looks really fun i thought especially for summer coming up so did get that i did get a couple potted color gels from Cocoist and those would have to be shipped so they are kind of come in the mail pretty soon so I'm excited about that so that's everything that I got I don't feel like I went too crazy I've definitely done more damage in previous years <laughs> I had so much fun and if you are ever thinking about attending in the future you definitely should it was super nice meeting some of you guys anyone who came up and said hi like so appreciate it so nice so lovely and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching maybe soon we can attend some of the bigger expos i think it'd be really fun also don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see more videos and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later